Well guys, we got a nice uh, stack of packages here. Might as well unbox them. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Uh, now on this channel I do comic book unboxings, reviews, haul videos, everything in between. And um, if you're interested in that type of content, you should hit the subscribe button and then tap that bell icon. That way YouTube actually lets you know when new videos go live. Now, if you're not new here, then you know that I just recently dropped my room tour. I've been working on this room for what feels like forever. Um, and if you were paying attention during that room tour, you may have seen that there's a stack of packages that are just taking up a ridiculous amount of space in my room. And I figured, you know what, there's a specific way I want this channel to run. And by George, by the end of the month of August, it's going to run that way. And it's going to require me to do a few things. The first thing I have to do is get caught up on my to read pile. Like, there can't be anything in the to read pile except this week's books at all times. So by September 1st, that's the commitment. Second thing is getting my pull list to a manageable level. The third thing is going to be making sure that every book in this room is organized. And um, in order to do that, I can't just have random packages just sitting and taking up space. I like to let packages stack up. Um, that way I can do some of these epic mail call videos and stuff like that. Uh, but what happened with this specific stack, um, my daughter was born uh, three months early. So she was in the hospital and then we moved. A lot of things happened, but we're finally settled in the new spot. And it's time to get some of the machinations, machinations. It's time to get the channel running the way I want it to run. So I'm going to split this video up into two parts. We're going to handle this stack right now. And there's a stack of about seven more packages that we'll handle in a later video. So no time for talking because we got a lot of uh, opening and unboxing to do. So let's get started. We're going to start with the smallest package first. This is from The Completest, which I'm pretty sure is an eBay seller. It's got an arrow on it. Open this side. Sure, will do. Pretty sure I know what this is. But do you ever really know until you open the package? Ah, yes, this is what I thought it was. Very cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Alright, let me show you something. I don't think, actually, I don't think that this is what I bought. Let's see. This is not what I ordered. And there's two of them. Well, anyway, this is a poster, uh, a promo poster from way back in 1990. Three, four, ninety-three. This is a poster for the Shadow War, the Milestone Comics Shadow War. Uh, this is a nine by thirty-three poster. So, if you saw the room tour, you know that that wall right there is empty, and on that wall is where I plan to put my Milestone poster. The poster that this was supposed to be, I'll put on the screen. Sheesh, when did, when did this come in the mail? I probably should be opening these things like immediately. All right, this was postmarked June 24th. Dang. All right, guys, don't be like me. Open your packages immediately because you might get the wrong thing. You might need to dispute it. So I'll have to have a conversation with the completist. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I was supposed to have two posters of a different type. 
and this is what I got instead. So we'll just set those, set them over here, because I'm gonna have to. Well, that's unfortunate. It was definitely starting things off on a note that I didn't want to start things off on. But anyway, next package. This one's from Things from Another World, not an eBay seller, but um, an actual comic book retail shop. So hopefully we don't have the same mistakes being made. Let's go ahead and slice this open. And boom. Gotta love Gemini Mail. Perfect, perfect. We got our little packing slip. And this, yes, this. Haha, -ha. this is Static Season 1, Issue Number 1. This is the Things from Another World exclusive variant cover uh, by Kyle Baker. Uh, now, this cover is uh, significant. One, because it's a store exclusive, so it's one of the rarer books uh, in this new Milestone Media relaunch. But also because originally when the Milestone relaunch was first teased, um, what was going to happen was an original graphic novel written by Reggie Hudlin with art by Cal Baker of Static. So who knows what's going on with that? Because um, they talked about it as recently as last November. So maybe it's still happening. Maybe it's not. I don't know, but either way, Kyle Baker on this new static suit redesign is just dope. This might be my favorite cover for this issue, which there's a lot of great covers on this issue. So anyway, there we go. Well, that's better than the last package. And let's keep it moving. That's a song. Who sings that song? Keep on moving. Don't stop. No. Keep on moving. All right, this one's from Amazon. No need for pleasantries. Let's just go ahead and get into this. This is, that's it, cool. All right, this is the Eisner Award-winning series from for 2020, the best continuing series, best series, and best artist uh, at the Ringo Awards. But this is Bitterroot. This is Bitterroot Volume 1. Um, this show just got picked up. It's going to be a movie directed by Regina King. Um, and when that news happened, all like all confidence in the fact that I was going to be able to get the single issue run just went out the window. So I decided to grab these trays so that I can at least read the story and get to know what it's about ahead of this movie. Um, you guys know I'm always trying to find stories featuring characters of color or at least creative teams of color. And this fills both of those boxes and apparently is a good enough story to be made into a film. So the artwork is amazing. This artwork by Sanford Green. Maybe I'll do an overview later when I don't have a million packages to open. All right, next up, Do Not Bend. This is a package, ooh, from Ken Lashley at Lead Killer Entertainment. Uh, Ken Lashley, the lead killer, one of my favorite comic artists, and you guys can't see it on camera right now, but almost every piece of art in this room, like that's in a frame, was done by Ken Lashley, so. I love how easy he made that to unbox. He put like a little tab in the tape. Gotta love that. Um, so, Ken Lashley has a Facebook group where you can occasionally bid on and buy exclusive items from him. You always got to be really quick with the fingers and claim your your stuff like really quickly. Um, although eventually he said he's going to create a website. So those claim sales are coming to an end. But I'm sure they won't ever fully end. So anyway, this is something that I got. This was mailed out on July 10th. I have no idea what it is though. Because... It's been a while. Okay. Very cool. So we got it with a lead killer sticker. Maybe I can open this gingerly, gently, so that I can keep the sticker. Ah, uh, maybe not. 
Let's see. I don't know if this sticker is going to get reused, but I'll save the paper just in case. All right. Oh, yeah. I forgot I bought this. <laughs> so, make sure there's nothing else in there. All right, there's nothing else in there. Whoops. This is Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. This is the Ken Lashley variant cover um, featuring Boba Fett. Uh, it's signed by Ken Lashley with a pink, a pink paint pen. Say that three times fast. All right, there's no need to open this. I thought this came with something else, but either way, Star of the Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. Uh, I got you. Gotta love signed comics. I love signed comics. So, boom. There we go. And let me save this paper just in case I can do something with that sticker. terrible on camera put it on the floor all right next up this is a box from mainstream comics so i already know this is a mainstream mystery box um you guys already know i do a series every single week called what could be in the box uh where i preview the contents of a mainstream mystery box and i open mine right on camera so let's open this one as part of a mail call see what's inside so if you've never gotten a mainstream mystery box and you're wondering like what it is, I encourage you to just use or check out the YouTube card. I will link, leave a link to the playlist where I've done several, like three months worth of unboxings showing you exactly what comes inside. So boom, boom. With the uh, mainstream mystery box, you always get a chance to win a, what's called a golden ducky at the end of every month and that's just a dope way to win a prize so again i encourage you to take a look at the playlist see some of my past unboxings and i'm sure you won't be disappointed but so what do we got what do we got we got this omni man print which is the july print of the month by ben ruzica um our reader book this is thor number eight by donny cates you got fat thor eating a sandwich next up our flashback book could be from the 70s 80s or 90s this one's from 1992 this is guardians of the galaxy issue number 33 let's uh turn this light down a little bit so you guys can kind of see that maybe you can't um who is this that's not dazzler i don't know who this is i don't know much about alita or is it starhawk there we go that's what it says on the cover maybe i should just read all right Next up, the premium artist cover this week is Captain America issue 18 with that cover by Alex Ross. Alex Ross does great covers. Ta-Nehisi Coates' Captain America run just ended at issue 30. Um, I'm excited for the new run by John Ridley. I think it's starting in November. They pushed it back. All right, our number one book for the week. This is Future State, Kara zor Superwoman. This was a book that I did not buy um when future state was going this is the second print design variant uh so that's pretty cool uh but yeah i like that and it's a book that i'll definitely read all right we got our variant cover for the week this is a nice cover this is batman white knight presents harley quinn number five i'm not reading this series at all but that's a dope cover you got the house on fire it's nice painted artwork, like watercolor looks like. I like that. Uh, let's see. All right, we got our new release book for the week, uh, which is Swamp Thing, number five by Ram V. I like that, cover A. And the last book that you usually get, you're either gonna get a Lucky Ducky, or if you don't want a Lucky Ducky, you get a second new release. So my second new release book this week was Spawn. Spawn issue 319. Gotta love this whole gorilla 
with chains on them. Like, I don't, I don't know. Is it King Kong? Is it Gorilla Grodd? It's none of those because Image doesn't have the right seed of those characters. Duh. All right, so let's put that down. And looks like we're going to round it out with a few packages from Amazon. So no need to delay the suspense at all. Rip right into that. Boom. From Amazon. Can't lie, I'm a little disappointed, but you can't be that disappointed with when you're buying a book that you know is this old. This from Milestone Media is Hardware, The Man in the Machine. This is a trade paperback collecting, let's see, the first eight issues of Hardware. So that's very cool. Um, hardware, written by Dwayne McDuffie, uh, art by Dennis Cowan. Um, who is actually returning for a brand new hardware series uh, in just about a month or so. So that's really exciting. Uh, first time this was collected in trade paperback format. Uh, it's going to be collected very soon because this book is out of print, although you can still find copies on Amazon like I did. Um, but uh, it's going to be reprinted in the upcoming Milestone Compendium. So I'll leave a link in the description for that Milestone Compendium pre-order at organic priced books but yeah i had some amazon gift cards and so i bought this and the other books that you're about to see so but yeah i love this first it was about vengeance then it was about justice dennis cowan is just unmatched and look at this cover i love this cover anyway let's put that down let's get to the next amazon package all right boom so we had Bitter Root Volume 1, collecting issues 1 through 6, and now we've got, or 1 through 5, and now we've got Bitter Root Volume 2, collecting issues 6 through 10, and the Red Summer Special. So Bitter Root by David Walker, or who is it? I think it's David Walker, Sanford Green, Chuck Brown. I think those are the names. Uh, but anyway, it's monster hunting during the Harlem Renaissance. Like, what more could you ask for? And this art by Sanford Green is amazing. I hope this gets collected in like some sort of oversized hardcover collection with all the extras in the back. But if not, at least I got the trades. And last package. This was also an Amazon purchase. Um, I don't know what the best way to open this is. Let's see. I don't know, these little shipping sleeves, I, I don't usually have good luck with them. We'll see how this goes. Eh, book's a little dinged up, but I basically got it for free because of these Amazon gift cards. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW Collection, Volume 1. Like I said, I do have like some corner bumps and dings or whatever, but I had been putting off purchasing this series because as of right now, like the day you watch this video, volume 13 of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW collection just went on sale. And so buying, like committing to buying 13 volumes of anything just sounds like a ridiculous thing to do, to put one's self through. Um, and yet for some reason, I did it. <laughs> I went ahead and pulled the trigger, probably because it was free and because of peer pressure. There's at least three people in the K-Squad group right now that are like, yes, he finally bought it. So shout out to Kamar and Trey and whoever else has been pressuring me to buy the Ninja Turtles. I love, I mean, honestly, this artwork looks great. Written by Kevin Eastman with Tom Waltz or Tom Waltz with Kevin Eastman. Um, I'm not sure who handles the artwork, at the beginning of this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles run, but so many people say it's their favorite iteration of the Turtles, including Omar, the uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition. So if he says it's that great, I gotta take his word for it, but I can't just take his word for it. I gotta try it out myself. These little bumps on the spine are going to bother me if I continue to look at them, so I'm going to stop looking at them. But this is volume one with Raphael, my favorite turtle, on the front. 
Um, so even if I don't, well, is it Raph? Because, like, don't all the turtles have red at the beginning? But anyway, it's definitely Raph. He's bloody and angry. Uh, but anyway, my favorite turtle is on the front. And, um, yeah. There's, you, I'm not going to just buy volume one of the series. As much as I want to try to just leave it at this. Uh, what does this collect? It collects the first 12 issues of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ongoing, plus... Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Splinter micro series one shots. So this just looks like it's gonna be awesome. Like I, I feel like I'm gonna regret this. At least my wallet's gonna regret it. I'm probably gonna love myself after I read this. So that is the haul. Um, so just to recap, I got the wrong poster. The poster I did not order. <laughs> Uh, but still celebrates the Shadow War, and the Shadow War was a dope milestone event. Um, I got, speaking of milestones, Static Season 1, the retailer exclusive. Um, I also got two volumes of Bitter Root by Sanford Green, Chuck Brown, David Walker, and all the rest. Is that Clayton Cowles on lettering? Of course it is. I do letters everything. Um, and then I got my mainstream mystery box for the week, uh, featuring a bunch of cool stuff. I think my favorite out of all of what I got, probably this Harley Quinn cover with the Swamp Thing being a close second. And then I got Hardware, the Man in the Machine trade paperback, a little beat up, but I mean, I paid $5 for this after my gift card was done. So I can't really be mad. And I could probably just put like a, a book on top of it to kind of get that wave out. So that's dope. And, um, oh, this was left out from my mystery box. So that's everything. That is the mail call. So I hope you saw something you liked in this video. And if not, that's cool because I liked it and I bought it for me. But you can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and uh, be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.